Welcome to Integral Martial Arts. I want to talk you through how a typical class looks when we train at the dojo. Each class does begin with group meditation, and then we get right into balancing static form, which you can see here, on whatever the theme is for the day, with uh, live sparring drills. So we use the I method here at the dojo. Um, what we're studying today is the Muay Thai long guard. We cover up pretty well uh, with Crazy Monkey and stay tight. But then, uh, as you can see here, using the long guard is a great combination to keep distance, keep your eyes open, don't cover up your, your vision. So we are now getting right into moving pretty quickly into an isolation drill. And what we have to get around that long guard is a hook straight on either side. So we introduce those attacks and cover up in a basic way. And then we get right to the movement, to the aliveness, to the play. And that allows you, as you know, to move in real time because oftentimes when you're hitting pads, you're actually learning how to miss. So you can upgrade your software without damaging your hardware, as we like to say. We keep it at a very gentle level of productive distress as we go along with each of these drills. Um, and here you can see we do different um, static form on how to get into the clinch. Next, so we're going to alternate back and forth between static form and a live drilling. And the three strategies you can use is of course crashing in, you can evade and then come in, or you can weave under. And you see us practicing quite a few of these in static form. Here I'm emphasizing to Jordan to keep his strikes light but quick and to practice his form. There you can see the evade and then the parry already thinking about setting up the takedown and now we're alive drilling with it again so nice and light good movement and then the next step I might say add the takedown in very very low resistance from your partner you just want to have natural motion and then Jimata to the knee tap from wrestling I find it best to put the wrestling and the judo together so now we're into the clinch the takedown Part of the class. So we do stand up, clinch, and ground in every class. So we're not only do we like to do solo techniques, but we love to do combinations. Also emphasizing uh, the kazushi here. Sometimes your partner leans a certain way because he's anticipating, you know, what's coming. Of course, that leads to a different technique. So we did some combinations, especially between wrestling and judo, mixing it up so that we're as efficient as possible for self defense. And then here we are just doing a little clinch wrestling. Always practicing offense defense as well, because this is MMA for self-defense or Vale Tudo Jiu Jitsu. We still hold that we're responding to an attack instead of initiating. Um, and so we're doing a little bit of light uh, clinch wrestling takedown sparring here. And you always want to have the, the teeter-totter principle or the fork in chess is what creates aliveness. So one technique leads to another, and it leads back to the first one if it's blocked, or maybe to a third. Um, now we're adding in the striking to start. We, not, not the emphasis on the striking, but just enough that we can practice uh, clinching into a takedown, which I believe if you practice the scrambles, the clinching and the scrambles once you hit the ground, that's where uh, there's a great balance of chaos and order. Sometimes, again, hitting the mitts or doing a bunch of reps of static form and then sparring at the end. You never get to do isolation sparring um, or actually focus on the chaotic places between the static techniques that we learn. Um, so static technique seldom, the map of static technique seldom matches the territory. You don't really learn an armbar how you do an armbar on someone who is even moving naturally but not resisting very much. So here we're just sparring onto the ground. Uh, this is our final rondori. So it's everything mixed together. Um, we didn't put our gloves on for this one. There says he's a Garuma to Kosal Tagari. Very nice combination, Jordan. And then he's scrambling to get right past the guard there. And we just keep rolling. I, we introduce, isolate, and integrate at the end with the Rondori, the sparring. So we keep going till someone taps. And of course, here too, um, a productive level of distress. So this is the gentle art. The gentle art of mixed martial arts or Valetudo Jiu Jitsu. We want to train sustainably um, and yet still get to 
experience every dimension of the game. I find there's kind of a Pareto principle there too. If you train the 20% of the techniques that actually work in each of the dimensions of the game, then you can get fairly competent at self-defense without having to learn the sport-specific stuff. Here I, I, I am now in defense, and Jordan's on offense, and I'm also taking this opportunity, because we didn't focus on jujitsu that week, to coach him on some of the escapes from the bottom. And we always have awareness that there could be striking in the mix, jits with hits, as we like to say. So the escape from the bottom is going to obviously be very different if they're striking than if there isn't. And actually for both the kumikata of judo and the basic guard position on the ground, it's actually the worst position for self-defense uh, because you're holding yourself at a length where there can be at a distance where there can be striking. So I'm letting Jordan work his escape and then I'm giving him the reward of a triangle choke at the end of my turn here. And at the end, of course, we bow out again. We reflect on what we learned, what worked and what didn't. And we say thank you very much. And then we begin again.